Hi, my name is Sue Mons, and I'm going to go over the organization of the ICD-10 PCS codebook. Um, hopefully you have reviewed what is the ICD-10 PCS code. It is a procedure code. It contains seven characters, and it basically is used by healthcare providers to identify what procedures have taken place in a course of treatment on a patient. So let's begin. Usually the beginning of a uh, coding book, of course, is the table of contents. And then following the table of contents is usually updates for uh, codes that have been added or deleted. The ICD-10 procedure coding book is updated annually on October 1st every year and is available. And so therefore, any revisions that have been made to the prior years is usually kind of explained in brief format in the beginning of a coding book. If you cannot find it in the beginning of the coding book, I have found sometimes it's also in the back of the book. Next, you'll, we will have the introduction. It's a brief history of ICD-10 PCS and, and how it evolved from our uh, older version of ICD-9. And then from there, we're going to go into a brief explanation of how you have an alpha index in ICD-10, as well as what we call tables, where you verify your code. This is similar to the process of your ICD-10 CM diagnosis book. Uh, if you recall, in ICD-9, your diagnosis and procedure codes were in one book, Whereas with ICD-10, you have an ICD-10-CM for diagnosis and an ICD-10-PCS for procedures. And then you, can, you will view some examples. After reviewing a few examples, you're going to go into your first uh, section, the medical and surgical section. This is the first section, which represents the first character of your procedure code, and that, that is represented by the number zero in your first character. And then after the medical and surgical section, you'll see the uh, character one represented by zero. It's going to explain to you how character two through seven of the code applies to medical and surgical section. And if you read through this whole area of the coding book, it will discuss each section and how character two through seven applies to that section. So you're gonna read through these pages and it ends with substance abuse treatment section and that's identified with the letter H for the first character of the procedure code. Then moving on, after you've reviewed that, you are going to see what they, an explanation for the index and the tabular format. So it's going to briefly describe to you what is found in the alphabetical index and your tables, terminology, symbols. You may want to highlight certain terms or symbols so that you understand when you are trying to verify a code and assign a code. You understand the symbols and the terminology. Moving forward are the coding guidelines that apply to the procedure codes. This is not nearly as big of an, a section as you would find in the ICD-10-CM diagnosis code book, but there are specific guidelines to certain sections represented, represented by your first character of your procedure code, so we need to review them. The next section is your alphabetical index, and this is where you will look up by your root operation word, which is the character three of your procedure code, to identify at least the first three characters of your code, and then you will verify the procedure code in the tables area, which again, I will repeat, is comparable to the tabular list in your alpha, in your ICD 
10 CM diagnosis code book. It is in alphabetical order, A through Z, and it also is in three columns, just as the alphabetical index of your ICD-10 CM coding book. So you might want to thumb through there and kind of uh, get yourself familiar with the alphabetical index of the procedure code book. Once you've gone through the alphabetical index, you will start with the tables. They're called the ICT-10 PCS tables. This is where you verify your codes. Just like you would verify your diagnosis codes with your tabular list. The first section that's represented here is the central nervous system and cranial nerves. So if you will note, I'll make a quick reference here. It, will, it says 001 through 00X represents this section of codes. This first zero represents the first character of your code. That is medical slash surgical section. The second character represents the anatomical region, and in this case, zero is for the central nervous system and cranial nerves. Then if you look under the purple row, it will represent the third character, root operation, fourth character, fifth character, sixth character, and seventh character. Each column gives you a list of what is available underneath each character. That is at the beginning of each section. So you might want to review that. There also, in most cases, are medical illustrations to help you understand anatomically where everything is located by that body part. So after you, after the tables, and you go through the tables, and those are divided by sections. Your last table is going to be substance abuse and treatment. You are going to see, I'm gonna make sure I have this right, you're gonna see appendix. And it's very important that you learn how to use these. Appendix A is components of the medical and sur surgical approaches. So this explains and gives a definition what character four means for the approaches. It gives a definition and the example. So if you don't understand, if you're, you're looking at a procedure and you're not clear on the definition of the approach, you would use your this Appendix A. Appendix B is root operation definitions. This gives you the 31 root, op one root operations. It, there's 31 of them, and it will give you a definition and also an example. Then as we go through, you're going to see Appendix C. This is a comparison of medical and surgical root operations. This is also very helpful that you might want to look at. Appendix D is your body part key. So you may have a body part, but you're not quite sure where it fits as far as assigning the character. This is where you this is where you would look. You would look up the body part and then it it would tell you how it is identified at, as the ICD-10 value. Your next section is going to be device key and aggregation, aggregation table. And even after that is device definition. So let's say there's a certain device that has been used, identified in the operative report. You're not quite sure what kind of device that is. Appendix F and Appendix G. You would reference both of these tables to determine what type of device it is to assign that character. And then after you go through here, 
There are some examples and work exercises with answers that you can work on so that you understand how to ass assign ICD-10 procedure codes. And in the back of the book are plenty of areas to make notes. You wanna make sure as we work through exercises and uh, learning to use the tables appropriately that we personalize our coding books because you will not be able to memorize every little detail until you are an experienced coder. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and thank you.